So we need to talk about the shoulder if we're going to talk about arthritis in a patient. The shoulder is the joint with the most range of motion. It's involved in almost every activity that a patient does day by day. And we need to understand some of the basic problems of the shoulder, some of the symptoms in order to treat it. Characteristically, the shoulder is held out from the body with the clavicle as a suspension, okay? And then it attaches to the chromium, which is the top bone overlying the shoulder itself. And the humerus with the ball attaches itself with ligaments and muscle to the glenoid, which is an adaptation of the scapula, the shoulder blade. So when the shoulder moves, rotation of the arm one way or the other, it's affected by a muscle pull one way and laxity in the other. It is surrounded, the ball and socket, if you will, the shoulder, is surrounded by a labrum, which when torn causes severe pain. So let's go down the list. What are the symptoms of a shoulder? Most commonly, people have a shoulder problem, they can't sleep at night. That's what usually brings them to the office because their bursitis, their rotator cuff, their atrial arthritis it bothers them too terribly. Secondary problems include loss of range of motion, so putting on, putting on a coat, taking off a shirt, reaching their seatbelt, even combing their hair becomes problematic. In a general office for orthopedic care, you'll see loss of sleep, inability to raise the arm over their head, perform day-to-day -day tasks, and generally a loss of motion over time. In a series of most common presentation symptoms, you'd see they have bursitis, rotator cuff disease from impingement, acetoral arthritis, a labral tear, or biceps tendon rupture. They all can occur at the same time in a presentation of a middle-aged or an elderly man or woman, particularly after a fall on top of an orthopedic condition. Treatment, conservatively, of course, non possibly injection, physical therapy is very, very important in, in shoulder conditions, but ultimately, many of these conditions go on to an operation. Operatively, it's an arthroscopic repair. Almost every shoulder condition can be treated arthroscopically, i.e. mentally invasively. That's arthroscopic, small incision portals, incisions around the shoulder that can allow arthroscopic instruments the size of a pencil enter to the shoulder to repair the rotator cuff, do a clavicle section, relieve impingement syndrome, and more deeply in the shoulder, repair the labrum or secure the biceps so it is no longer ruptured. Shoulder problems are common, generally easy to treat. Rehabilitation can be two to four weeks, eight weeks in some cases. More severe problems, such as tearing of the major ligaments of the shoulder, take longer, eight to 12 weeks. Return to activities, simple activities within a week or two. Heavy activities, strong lifting, heavy sport, usually takes at least 10 to 14 weeks, maybe even up to 20 weeks in most conditions.